Hi everyone, Kim here bringing you another process video for a 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout featuring Dusty Attic Chipboard. So just to go through, I'm using the scrolls, a couple of the scrolls from this, some foliage from this set, uh, a word, this happened, and the title. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint up my chipboard and for the title I am using Kuretake gold mica paint and you can see as I paint on the solid pieces with the words engraved into it that I'm being careful to paint around the engraving and not into the engraving. This ensures that it stands out clearly on the painted piece. So I'm just, um, I have sped up the video considerably here because it does take quite some time to fiddly paint around all of this but the outcome is well worth it and you'll see that very clearly in the close-up photos at the end of the video um, but this Kuretake gold mica paint paints over the raw chipboard exceptionally well and you really only need to give one good coat and it covers it perfectly as you can see by me I'm just touching up the little bits I've missed there. Now I'm painting the berries on the foliage piece and I'm going to paint the branches a different color. So I'm just painting the berries the gold, just carrying that gold coloration through. And it's just a matter of dabbing a little bit of paint on those berries. So with one of those foliage pieces, I cut it into three sections so that I could use it in three smaller pieces when I do it on the layout. Now with the scrolls, I'm painting them with a pale blue acrylic paint. So I'm just giving this one coat and then I'm going to add some different colored blue waxes to it. So to give it an ombre effect, but the light blue just adds another shade of blue in there. You do not need to have paint under waxes. So these are the Prima waxes, colored waxes. Uh, you don't need paint under them. They will cover the chipboard with just the wax. However, I am using the pale blue acrylic paint here because I want another blue colour in that um, ombre effect. So now I'm just painting the branches on the foliage and I'm painting that beige. So that colour and the blues that I've selected works in well with the Tranquility collection that I have chosen to use for this layout. So this is the Tranquility collection from 49 and Market. Now I've got some extra paint here. So I just pulled out my art journal and I'm just putting some of that extra paint onto my art journal page so I don't waste the paint. I've just spraying a little bit of water on there to make it spread out a bit more and putting a few splatters. And this will form the base for an art journaling page at some stage. So I'm just adding three different sections of the blue paint with the bit of leftover blue and I've just put that aside to dry. So that's just to show you that if you're using paint on chipboard then you can use your leftover paint if you art journal so that you're not wasting that paint. Now what I'm going to do is add two different shades of blue Prima wax. So this is a sort of medium blue color and then I have a dark denim blue color. So I'm putting the light blue on first then I'm going to put the dark blue on here and I'm just getting that on the other side to the light blue and then I'll mix the dark and light blue together on my mixed media mat there and I'll put that between the two colours so that I'll get that ombre. And the paint just really gives that little bit of light blue at the very end of the pieces. I'll bring this up closer to the camera so you can have a better look at it in a moment. So I'm just going to, I've slowed the video back down. I'm just going to get some more wax. This is the dark blue one and you can see there that I'm rubbing it on. And you can see that ombre effect really clearly and you can see the beautiful luster that the wax gives to the chipboard piece. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, um, and now I'm going to put the layout together because all of my chipboard pieces are coloured up into the perfect colours to match in with this collection. It's trimming off my salvage strip. 
Now you can see that this pattern paper has like a, a place for the photo on it, which will work really well. And I'm just going to basically put the photo in that spot and then use the area around it to do some embellishing. These are some frames from, from that same 49 and market collection or film strips. So I'm putting one of those around the photo. So that's um, a four by six photo that I have printed uh, four photos onto so they're four small images I'm using some leftover chipboard to pop this photo up to give it a bit of dimension so it's from one of my old dusty attic pieces and also by using the chipboard underneath the photo it puts it at the perfect height to be able to some tuck some chipboard around the photo as you can see that I'm doing here so I've got these scrolls and I'm tucking them on the left side and bottom side of the photo. I'm going to pop the title over the top of that bottom scroll and then add the small scroll down under the title. And so I've got that beautiful scroll effect under the title. Oh, and I've just realized that I have not waxed my hashtag word. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use the two blue waxes to create an ombre effect on the word. As I said to you, you don't need to have paint underneath the wax for it to cover clearly. So I'm just using, as I said, that, that medium blue color and the dark denim, which will give me an ombre from light to black. And it's quite narrow, so like the word's quite narrow, so I didn't really need the three colors. Um, just fiddling with that to make sure I'm happy and that with the wax too as you rub it it goes more shiny so making sure that it's gone nice and shiny and you'll see that in the close-up videos I apologize if you're hearing my bar dogs bark behind me but they've decided to try and put the birds out of the backyard of course while I'm filming um, so I'm just now laying out all the other elements. So these are from that 49 and market collection. So the laser cut flowers and butterflies, and I'm going to combine the foliage chipboard with the laser cut flowers. So you can see here. So this is the full piece of the foliage that I'm putting at the top. And then I'm going to put in the other piece of foliage, which I've cut into three different pieces, I am going to stick around those laser cut flowers. I'm just gonna move that one. And so I'm just laying it out, the layout out, and then I will ad adhere everything down. I'm just making sure that I'm happy with the composition. So flowers going, uh, butterflies going to go there and then a couple of little flowers over here and another one down the bottom. And that's pretty close. So I'm going to start gluing everything down now. Um, I'll start with this word on the photo because then the photo element will be complete and I can lift it off without any problems. And I'm just using my normal wet glue. Uh, which works really well with chipboard and this is the art glitter glue it dries clear and non-tacky and so i'm just putting that butterfly down at the top there so there is a butterfly on the background printed paper and you should see in the close-up photos that i've offset the butterfly on top by a little bit so you can see the bottom wing and the top wing um, and then the top wing slightly sits over the photo so it gives it a really nice dimensional effect and it looks like there's two parts to the butterfly um, and you'll see too that I use my t-square ruler to make sure that my photo was straight um, because then I can work all my other elements off that and they will be straight too so just sticking down the title over the top of the chipboard and this daisy tucking it in underneath the title making sure it's well stuck down um, and putting that bottom scroll underneath the bottom of the title and now I'm going to start sticking down these laser cut elements. So I'm just tucking some of the bits underneath the bottoms, underneath the title, so you can't see the ends. And then tucking the other pieces of flowers in to create a long cluster up the side of the photo. You do need to make sure with this glue that if you're going to shift something, you do it fairly fast because it will attach 
strongly, quickly, um, which is good and bad if you decide to move things. Now with this butterfly, I'm going to stick a little bit of chipboard under each of the wings and then stick the body down firmly onto the background paper just to give it dimension. The chipboard will make sure the wings don't go flat. And sticking these little flowers on here. Nope, don't want that one there. Move it around. Oh, and these photos, I'm not sure if I mentioned at the start, are photos of my um, little Violet, or oh, well, Violet, who's not so little now. She's coming up 10, and this is when she was a puppy and we first got her. So I found these photos in my printed out stash, and they just brought back so many beautiful memories, and I just had to scrapbook them. So sticking another little laser cut in over there, and I'm just hunting for a little butterfly and I'm going to put that third butterfly just on the edge of that title piece. And I think it looks very cute there. Um, and I'm just doubled up some chipboard to put under the wing so that the wing doesn't collapse down. Cover up the photo. And now I am going to splatter with my gold mica paint. So that brings in more of the gold that I've used on the chipboard into the background and you'll see in the close-up photos I love um, you get a little bit of dimension with that paint it's quite thick you know I got it everywhere I had it all up my arm but you know so here's some photos so that you can see the detail of the layout and you can see the ombre and the luster on the chipboard as well as those little gold splatters in the background there's that ombre on that word um, yeah, so thank you very much for joining me. I love having you here. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really um, appreciate if you press like and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you again and see you again soon. Bye.